Well, now that we got the uh, drum part pretty much finished, I think it's pretty good shape. Though it might still need to be a little bit tighter. I don't want to go much tighter right now because I'm afraid I'll break something. I started sliding the neck in here and it's obvious to me that this neck did not go with this uh, you know instrument or maybe it actually did now that I say that maybe it did but this uh, rim and the hoop and stuff is different than it used to be something's different about it I know that for sure I mean it's possible this went in there I guess but it's rubbing right here, and I don't think it's gonna go. I mean, I can wiggle it some more and it might go, I don't know. I can tell that it's never gonna reach this and it should reach down here. There's too big a space. So that's the other reason I say I doubt this neck went with this. But anyway, I think I'm just gonna pull this out of here if I can get it back out of here now that I've jammed it in there. Now I'm having trouble, but I think it will come eventually here. There it is. And I think I'm just going to try to file some of this area here where it's getting tight. I knocked off a little bit there. I don't think that was very much, but it might be enough. You never know. Yeah, it's almost enough. Yeah, it's much closer than it was. It actually touches now. That's almost an acceptable fit right there. I still don't think it's just right. It's much better than it was though. So maybe just a little bit more clean up there and we'll have it. Well, that may be good enough right there. It might be. I think I'm gonna stop on that part right now. Well, assuming that it's touching. And I don't really think I'm still getting it to touch yet. Now that may be now because of the rim. I think the rim itself is bottoming out just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna mark that on here. See if I can knock that out just a little bit. Maybe with just a Dremel tool or something. Won't take much. And then it'll be bottomed out, which is what I want. Hmm, not sure what I'm gonna use for that. Little tight space there. Hard to get into. Maybe the file is the best thing on that, too. That only knocked off a tiny bit, but, but I wasn't missing by much, so let me just see what that does. Proud of touching this surface here, and it needs to touch that surface. So, I'm gonna have to find a way to get that knocked out of there. I don't know if these chisels are sharp enough to cut that end grain on this old maple or not, but see if I can't find a way to get in here and cut this out a little bit. You heard a song about a horse or two. Well, here's one more, and I swear it's true. It's really hard to say if that's working. I mean, I'm cutting wood out, but I'm not sure that's the right place to cut it out exactly. The finest horse you've ever seen. His name was Phantom 614. I think I'm going to put the carbon paper in there and see where I'm actually rubbing at. This carbon paper I have right here is not very good stuff. Just going to go ahead and get it used up. A proud young stallion with head held high. His cold light satin under candlelight. His mane and tail, oh, how they sheen. His name was Phantom 614. Hoping that left some sort of a mark there. Yeah, it did. It left two marks on the black, actually three. I think I'm just going to get the Dremel with the rotary cutter of some sort. 
I think I'd be ahead just doing it that way. So I'm going to cut the black marks out of there and we'll try it again and see what happens. Try to clean the edge a little bit there where it got a little bit funky there. Straighten it up a little bit. That might be all we need right there. You never know. It's pretty close, but I'd say it needs more yet. See if I can get the carbon paper back in there and get it to make a mark. Well, just a young man at the time. I knew that one day he'd be mine. And I would ride there like a king up on the back of 614. That might be livable right there. We might be able to live with that. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think I could probably call that good enough. Now, the question is, well, there's your problem right there, Vern. <laughs> See, it's, it, when I line this up, this is still way off. So I'd have to knock this way down yet. Let me look at the neck angle I would say it needs to go down a little bit. Man, I don't know, that's pretty close. But the problem is that it doesn't line up with this. The neck angle itself looks pretty good to the top, but it doesn't line up with this hole that's down here. You can see there's a hole there and this neck is going above that hole. That's not good. It's not what I wanna see. And unfortunately, it's what we have. And by the way, just so you stop any mean comments, me cutting this out only would make this better. In other words, you know, cutting out up here is what I have to do to bring this down, and that's where I was cutting. But I would have to cut out a lot more where I was cutting to get that to line up. And if I did that, I'm not sure it would play right. Pretty flat to the top, which may be okay. I don't know. Man, I tell you, this is not a simple, simple deal here. The other thing I'm noticing is that that fingerboard is really wavy like that. That is not good. Bummer, bummer, bummer. You know, for the record, I didn't cut any off this part of the heel. So that part there, if I make this line up with that, which it will now, it makes the neck angle look, to me, fairly close, except for the duck bill here. There's a duck tail or whatever coming out like this. Except for that, it looks pretty good. And then except for this, it looks pretty good. So I don't know what to do with this thing. When I take it out of here, I'm gonna see if it still duck bills up or if it's the fact that it's being forced in there. I think it still duck bills up or duck tails up, whichever way you want to think of that. Yeah, it seems like it still does it. It swells up right in here and gets bigger. There's a lot to do here. I'm going to have to give it some more thought to decide what to do. Well, this neck's got plenty of issues. One of the bindings coming loose here. I already glued it back back here using this same process. I just take the CA glue put it in here, try to make sure I get good coverage, and then just squeeze it back together, get rid of the extra glue, and hold it there as best I can. You know, it'd be nice if I could get these clamps on there really quick, but I don't know that that's gonna happen. It never does whenever you really want it to. And then I'm holding this other end with my hand and then I'll just spritz it lightly with this stuff, which is probably already set up, but this will help it. And that should have fixed it, I think. Now I can look at it better because that binding out of place wasn't helping anything. It's pretty twisty, it really is. Um, I don't know if I should just try 
knocking some of this off. Got crazy high frets back here compared to the rest of it. Even that's already helped it a little bit as far as the, the way it looks. I don't think it's going to play well with that fingerboard the way it is. I've seen worse now. I mean, now after I filed it, I've seen worse for sure. It's, it's in the ballpark of where it might work. I'm trying to decide. Okay, I do see a problem here. It's, it is loose underneath here. And uh, that's not good. Um, so I'm going to have to get that glued back. And I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to cut my losses and glue it with the CA glue because this is going to be hard to deal with otherwise. I think that'll get that back where it should be. And then when I put this back together, I'm going to make sure this isn't getting forced up in the air. I think that's where my biggest uh, ducktail is coming from is that this wasn't tight here and it was getting forced up in the air. I'm probably going to have to cut some more of that hole out. I think that's okay. I think it's, it's holding. So what I'm going to try to do now is check this and see if it'll go in without bumping that. And I think it is bumping it. Yeah, it's, it's rubbing it pretty good underneath here. I don't know. There's a couple of options. One is to see if I can cut some of it away by doing this. And that might be part, part of the best option. Because this is not really doing anything under here. Problem is I can't get to it very easily because of this stick on top of here. It is helping, I think, but I don't know if it's going to do enough. My problem with cutting away more of this hole up here is that it keeps raising me up higher and I'm already above this hole. That's my problem with that idea. You know, that's pretty much bottomed out. I don't want to break this again. If this wasn't on here, that'd be easy to knock down, but with that on there, it's next to impossible. Using a chisel on it is, I mean, it's an option, but it's not a good option because you're cutting into the end of the grain there and could really knock a lot more off than you want. Knock out a big chunk, but it is cutting it and I might be okay. Try a wider chisel to see if I can plane this off under here fairly easily. The trainer said, son, he can't be rode. But stay away, boy, or you'll be thrown. He said that horse is just plain me. His name was Phantom 614. I don't know if that's enough, but let's take a look at it and see if it made a difference even. Yeah, I think it did make a difference. I think I'm still rubbing in a place, but not very much. Actually, I'm not sure it's touching. I think it's open. I think it's, I think it's free all the way through there now. Based on what I can see, it looks like it's free. We might, might have done some good there. My biggest problem is what to do about this not lining up. I wish that lined up. I really do wish that lined up. I don't see a way to line it up. I'd like to reuse that same hole rather than cut a new hole or make some makeshift thing that lines this up. That's the other option I've got is, you know, I've got to, I'm gonna have to extend this anyway because it has to be connected to this back here or the neck won't be strong. So, my options are to make some kind of a fancy and, and, you know, again, make it a feature, you know, make some kind of a fancy deal that would come off of this and hook down here and then just glue it to this and then, you know, do the hookup down here. 
and make it look like it's a feature, a, a, a thing on purpose, like make it out of a different color wood even, um, make it a decorative thing. And, and uh, to be honest, that's about where I'm headed with this because I don't know of any other good way to cover it up and make it work. The neck angle itself looks pretty darn good when I've got this all the way in there. I do think I'm off of this, so I don't think there's any pressure on this now. Just barely off of it, but it's off of it, and that's all it takes. And as long as it doesn't pull up and, and push on this, we're good. So I think I may have to, uh, I may have to design something here to fix this whole area. And that's about all I've got that I can think of. I'm sure you're screaming at the, at the video going, why don't you do X, Y, Z? Well, you're not here to tell me, so I'm doing whatever I think of. And right now, making some sort of a decorative end for this and just making it work is what I'm thinking. I think maybe I'll lay it down for a few minutes and think about it, because a lot of times I think of something else when I'm not looking at the object. So I'll do some cleanup here, just get rid of some of this mess and uh, think about it a little bit. I found this piece of walnut that's doing me no good and uh, I thought it, it might just be something I could use right here. I don't know. Kind of got my doubts that this will work real good. On the other hand, it might be pretty, pretty cool. The problem with this is I've got to figure out how to draw a line under that. And that's really short. I have a really short pencil. Let's see if I can get a short pencil in there to draw this line. Seems like that's working. Afraid I'm gonna mess up my thing there. I think it moved on me. It did, of course. It had to move. It couldn't not move. <laughs> it's like you can't win for losing. Anything that can will pretty much every time. So instead of uh, being able to trace both sides of it, I think I'll uh, measure about where I was at there and see what the thickness is. I'm getting 675 thousandths is about what I'm getting. I'm gonna call it 675. I'll lock that down. Find where I had marked this. And try to mark the other side of that. Better sit down to get solid here. Okay, so there's the top of it. And then I can try to measure the bottom of it, how long it is, this cutout is. This would be the bottom of it right here. So if I cut that out, um, that will span that. You know, I, that's just a starting point, that's all that is. Now the question is, how do I cut it out easily? And the only way I can think of it is either routing it out or, you know, milling it out with a milling machine. Routing is what everybody else would do. Maybe that's what I should try. It's never simple. So I think I'll just hold it in place here like this and take my little Dremel with and get in there and route this out. And we'll see how that goes. You won't be able to see what I'm doing very well, but I'm gonna give it a shot here and uh, see how it goes. Actually got some kind of sticky something on my bit here now that I just noticed that. Of course, there has to be something whenever you turn the camera on. Let's try to clean the junk out of the bit. It's like old sawdust or something. I don't know, we'll just see if it cuts. It might cut, it might not. Well, that horse and I, our souls were one. Without any fear, I climbed upon. Well, that knocked out a little chunk there. Let's see if it sort of fits this. I doubt it yet, because I try to do everything conservative to make, you know, s sneak up on it. <clears throat> um, not really. 
Now the problem is you can't really see it because it's on the other side. Now if the head wasn't on there, I could see it. I would say the first problem is it's not quite wide enough. So I'll take a chisel and try to clean it up just a little bit. I'm going to do most of the cleanup on this side because it looks like it's a little off center. I doubt that'll make a dent in the difference yet, but we'll see. Not so much that I can really tell. Yup, this is gonna be fairly hard. I, I really want a tight fit because, uh, again, you, you want your glue to hold well. I may have to actually sand the end of that off now that I think about it. Probably will have to get it cleaned off, so maybe I'll try to do that too. I'll mark this, and from that line back, I'm going to need to clean off the finish for sure. And cleaning off the finish might be enough to make it fit. You never know. The back of the one they said was me. His name was Fano 614. A one man horse to me proved true. The people would stare as we ride through. So now we can look at this and see. Wow, it fits it like a glove right there. That's part of it. Let's see if it'll fit once it's back in here. I doubt that. Why would it fit when it's back in there? That would be too easy. It sort of kind of does. Sort of kind of. Okay, well, let's do more of that then. Let's. My side, which few have ever seen. His name was Phantom 614. Things hanging everywhere here, so let me get things straightened up. Okay, we should be okay to try it again. His name was Phantom All right, let's see if it'll still kind of fit on there. I think I want to go quite a bit deeper though, like maybe twice that deep, because I want to be able to get down around most of this shaft, glue it really well, and then I'll do some kind of decorative carving to the rest of this to make it look good. I don't know what that'll be yet, we'll figure that out as we get to it, but I do think I'm going to go deeper. All right, so I'll just plunge this base down a little bit to expose more of the cutting bit. Cleaning it up a little bit, but I think it's going to be fine and we might be deep enough now. Might be, but I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. We're not really deep enough yet, I don't think. I think I could go that much deeper again and might be able to make a case that that would be deep enough. So, yeah, actually, we don't need to go too much deeper because we'll be the full depth of that piece. I think that's about where we'll end it, right there, whatever that is. And then we'll do some more cutting on the rest of this to make it match up. Let's see how that fits. Ah, perfect. Really nice. Yeah, that's, that's probably good enough. All right, so that's about all I'm gonna do for the moment. I'm gonna do some thinking on that now and start figuring out what I'm gonna do to make this look nicer and, you know, to carve it to look better. Well, probably everybody was screaming at the camera. You know, you can't put a block on the end of there because you won't be able to take this out. Well, you're right on that. I've been thinking about that option all the way through here, trying to figure out how in the world am I going to make this work and, uh, you know, make it solid and all that. And I'm not sure I can to be just 100% truthful about it. I was just trying to think of some way to 
make this thing practical and make it a little more decorative rather than just extending a piece onto here, which isn't going to line up. That's my biggest problem. I'm trying to figure out a way to get something on here that'll line up. Now this will line up now. I don't really want to glue it because then you can't take it apart. Should I make some little screws in here and just anchor it that way? I don't know. I don't really like that option too much, but I don't know of any other good way to do it. Then you could pull it out halfway and take the screws out here with a small screwdriver, perhaps. And I say perhaps because I don't know if that makes sense or not. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the whole idea is bad. Maybe I should just add on to the end of it and drill a new hole. Yeah, I really don't like that option. I don't have to decide it today. I might think about it overnight and see if I can come up with a better option here. Maybe I could just drill a pin and insert a pin all the way through, which is kind of how they usually attach the neck up here with a pin deal. That might be the best option actually, just to insert a pin. Yeah, I kind of think maybe that is the best option. Just to have a slide-in pin that'll go through there, then you can push it out and take it apart. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I say that and I really don't know if that's what I'm gonna do or not, but I, I kinda like that idea better than a screw because you can't get to the screw very good. The pin you can slide in and out as long as you don't make it a crazy tight fit. It'll just have to be a good fit. Once you get the pin out, then you can pull this out, and then you can pull this out. So I guess that's how I'm gonna do it. Well, my friends, I have a solution. It turned out to be a fairly elegant solution. Okay, so this goes in there like so. My little block, as you saw, goes in here like so. And then you think, how in the world can you hook those two together? Well, I made this. See that? Fancy little pin. You insert the pin from up here, or I mean, sorry, from up here on the upper side so that gravity will help hold it in. It holds fairly snug by itself. There you can see it. So when you're playing it, of course right-handed, then the pin is on the top and it shouldn't fall out. I doubt it would fall out anyway because there will be some tension pulled back through this way. And, um, you know, that, that ought to hold it in place, I would think. I really don't know yet exactly how I'm going to put strings on this and tighten it up. i tell you what I might do as a temporary stopgap measure to just, because I don't know the neck angle, is I might actually just clamp this now, clamp this block to this, and just hold it still, like right there, then put strings on this and see if that neck angle and everything's going to work. You know, you might say, well, why don't you know that? Well, you don't know what you don't know until you know it. And uh, there's a lot I don't know about this because this we're really making a Franken banjo in. Yeah, it really is. Uh, it's it's going to be a cute little instrument. It's going to play really cool when we're done, but it's uh, going to be a one of a kind, unique one also in its own right. I mean, I know there's other ones out there that look very similar to this, don't get me wrong, but this one was never meant to be together as it is. And uh, I think we've got it figured out where it's going to work, but we just have to test the waters until we get there. Now you see my pin there, so the pin, it actually, if you spin it or whatever, it should come out fairly easily. Now it may be jammed in there right now, so I'm going to loosen that up and and unscrew, kind of like unscrew it to get it out of there. And it came out pretty good. Now, I just had that CA glued in. Could that break? Yeah, that could break. That's the weak point of the whole thing. But right now it seems to work just fine. Let's see, I'm gonna have to anchor it here. So that may be the clamp idea for now. And then I kind of would like to come up with a, a similar type wedge clamp thing that they used at this end also. Uh, I'm not, 100% sure what I'm going to do up here yet because I don't have that apparatus, I don't think. Though I'm going to look through some of my spare parts. I may just have one. You never know. 
My friends, yet another day has done here at the workshop. And I think I have the perfect solution for this whole thing in terms of the neck and everything. So let's slide the neck back in. All right, so you, we've seen it this far before. We've also seen my new little invention here and we'll put that in, in its place from this side because this is the top. We'll slide in our little pin there. You can see there our little pin went in, no problem at all. So that locks that in and that this can be screwed in from the end now. But this neck is still not stable up here. You know, it can still move. So I was trying to think of a way to fix this. Well, I know that they make a special bracket for these and I wasn't sure if I had one of those brackets or not. Well, it turns out I found one. And so here it is. This is this is the bracket right here that you're looking at. And you think, well, how would that help? Well, it's a uh, complicated but it helps all right so I, I had to find a uh, screw for this so I found a uh, hex screw and you might say well I'd rather have a regular screw or a Phillips screw but there's a reason I specifically chose this screw and that is because these are hardened and it won't strip as easily as so many of the other types of screws so this goes down on here like so like you're seeing right here and then I made a special pin for this. This pin goes through here and it goes right through those slots. It worked perfectly off camera. Now will it work on camera? There it goes. Well, it's going through sorta of, kinda, but it'll eventually get there. There it is. Okay, so now you can see that the pin is through on both sides. I made this little piece of metal. Now this is the one thing I haven't tried yet. And I was hoping that little piece of metal would slide in there. And unfortunately, right now it's not. I don't know exactly why, because I thought it would. Well, my miscalculation, I really thought I had that sized where that would fit in there. So there you go, back up and punt. I, I really would like to have a piece of steel in here so that when I screw the screw down, it's actually writing on steel rather than on wood. So many I've, of these I have seen have ridden on the wood and that's kind of okay but you know eventually that's going to be a problem so I would really like it if I could get that piece of steel in there but right now it doesn't seem like it wants to go so maybe I'll take and run that through my thickness sander and sand that down a little bit because I can't really modify everything else I've done here so far ah oh, there we go maybe it'll go that way I mean I really thought I had plenty of room to get that in there Maybe I could tap it in with a hammer. There you go. Now it's going in. Yeah, that's, that's plenty good. Okay, so that's already tightened up the neck. But now you can tighten down this screw. And as the screw tightens down, that pulls this pin. It pulls this slot up that pin. It makes it even tighter. All right, so let's see if I can find a thing that fits that. That first one, wouldn't you know? Just got lucky once. All right, so anyway, I'm just tightening it up snug. That is tight. You're not going to get that out of there now. So that's how they're intended to be made, but I had to find all the parts, and, and I had to make that pin because I didn't have a pin. Had to drill the hole through there. You know, I found the bracket. We fortunately did have the bracket. And now we're good on this this end here can still be moved a little bit and then screwed in right here. But right now, I'm not gonna worry about that end. I think what we're gonna do next is move into the setup phase and start setting this up and see what the neck angle needs to be. It might need to be higher, it might need to be lower. I don't really know. Well, my friends, a couple of more days has passed on this. Um, I really am happy with my solution. It's been sitting around, it's very solid. It doesn't move at all. It's just perfect. And it'll even be more solid once I put this tail pin in here. I was trying to come up with a good solution for uh, a tail piece. And, you know, I, I went looking and I have the traditional tail piece, but that wouldn't necessarily look right on this banjo lin. This is a good option here. This, this would look right. This is kind of period correct. This is also period correct. And this is probably the best option overall. 
This one, I think, looks the best. Um, I think this one would be the best looking one. It's got, it's very ornate. It's got the little extra carvings here, which kind of goes with this ornate up here. The only negative is that it is, it is aluminum. I wish it wasn't aluminum in a way because, uh, you know, that kind of doesn't match the chrome metal, you know. To me, I'd say either this one is the best option or this one. And of course, by the time you see this, I will have already made the decision, so. This one is by far the simplest and the chrome kind of matches the rest of it. I'll talk to Emery and see what she thinks. It's several hours later, but I did ask two people. I asked Emery and, and there just happened to be a customer in here about the same time, which tailpiece they liked the best and everyone agreed on this one. And I have to admit that this would have been my first choice also is just the fact that that's aluminum versus you know, nickel or chrome, whatever the rest of this is. So, with that in mind, I am gonna use this, I think. But the problem is, this is in two pieces, and that's not very user-friendly for my purposes here. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna to have to alter it just a little bit, but fortunately, I don't think the alteration is gonna be very much. Actually, this piece, is steel and I guess that's the reason that they're uh, this is chromed and that's what the strings are actually hanging on and I guess that's the reason because this would have been too flimsy so this kind of sticks through there but what I want to do is um, pop rivet these together on the just the top pieces here so and then I'll hang the the deal off of the bottom one, or at least that's my idea. Now that I see that, I'm not sure that's doable either without a lot of finagling. Oh my goodness. It won't be simple, but I know I can't really do this with these two pieces loose. It's just not gonna be simple. So I've got a 1 8 inch pop rivet, or a 1 8 inch drill bit here, and I have 8 inch pop rivets. So I'm just going to expand these holes just ever so slightly. There's not going to need much. Yep, in fact, almost nothing. I'm thinking that might be enough, though, to get that through. Yep, that was just enough because it barely, it barely needed anything. Like, it won't go through there like that. But you put this through and it should go. Might as well go ahead and drill this, the bottom ones out too because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need something. Just in case I need a pop rivet solution there. Now I should be able to slide this in there. And in fact, I'm going to slide both of them in there because I think it's going to be hard to get them in there once I pop rivet those. The only problem is I have the wrong end selected in this. This gun has interchangeable uh, rivet sizes. That one's for a larger rivet. These are for eighth inch style rivets. So I'll put this one in. Store this one out of the way, otherwise I'll lose it. That's how I've kept it, is I don't lay it, lay it around. Okay, and then I can put this on here. The, the secret to pop rivets is you push it in tight and hold, it, hold the material together. Then you start popping that, and bingo, it just works really good. The, in falls back out of this. There it is. So those two little ends are protruding. Now you can't see that from this side, except for the fact that I knew that was gonna happen, and it did. It's just in the way of this rim. Doggone it, I, I was afraid that was gonna be the case. But why would it be simple if it could be hard? You know, that's the bottom line. I don't know if I can, file enough of that off there. I'll probably have to go to my Dremel tool and cut the top of these off to get it to go in there. I knew that was going to happen. I really did. And yeah, I could have put it the other way, but then you have this ugly end sticking out. So that's why I did what I did. Seeing if we can cut some of that away. And the answer is, I don't know, but we'll give it a shot. Might have to cut too much away and it may not hold. I'm just going to hope that that's enough. I really doubt it is, but you never know. Wow. I think it worked. 
Believe it or not, I think it actually worked. It was just enough. Okay, I'll call that good enough if it's working. That locks that in there. That's pretty solid that way too, by the way, because that just is barely enough to make it clear. All right, so now I'm gonna do some thinking off camera, and unfortunately, I don't have this lined up well enough to make it work with this hole, or, the, or they drilled the hole off center, and I think that's the case, because I'm actually a little off center here, which you would think, well, that's the problem, but if I move this, this, if I move this, this way, that's just gonna make this problem worse, because this one's off to the same side as this, so that's only going to make this worse if I straighten this out a little bit more. So doggone it. Uh, maybe I'm going to have to make a new hole anyway to get this in the center. In fact, I'm going to have to because there's no way to get it in the center otherwise. Let me just prove that out and see if coming down the neck here. Let's just see how that looks. That, that comes within an eighth inch of that thing. Actually, this needs to go this way quite a bit according to that. There you go. That's about right. I guess I can go ahead and line it up with the hole, even though this won't be centered here. But if I line it up with the hole, it is straight with the neck. The problem is this one's closer on this side and this one's closer on this side. So I can't do anything about it because no matter which way I move it, it'll be wrong for one end or the other. <laughs> or I should say it'll actually be wrong for both ends. No, that's not true. I can move it that way and be right for this end, but it would be wrong for that end and vice versa up there. If I move it the right way up there, then it's the wrong way back here. So I just have to live with it exactly like I have it right now. There's nothing, no chance of making it any better. But I do have to figure out a, a, a way to anchor this in. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'll try that off camera and I'll let you know what I decide.